Hey guys, Ironix Media here and I'm yet back with another video which is a little bit different but not that different. You see, this morning I got a mysterious package. I have no idea what it is but one thing is for sure, it's tech related. You know, based on the Gigaplan box that has been used to package it. So let's dive in and see what it's all about. So we start off by cutting the tapes and whatever. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a computer so the first thing that appears here is the mouse mat which comes from it's a logitech mouse mat and the other thing is of course the monitor which appears to be damn it's heavy hello it's me let us just put it aside together with all the plastic bag wrappings. Okay, let's keep on digging. We also have some power cables over here. Yeah, one power, one three pin power cable for the monitor and the other one for the CPU, I believe, and a VGA uh, cable connector. Now, let's see the main thing, which is the CPU. Well, one thing I'll have to mention is that it's quite lighter than I expected. And the model of this CPU is a, it's an Elite desk. It's a HP Elite desk, which has a processor of the Core i7. And according to the sticker, I can tell this is a fifth generation. Yeah, probably. Let's first of all remove this box so that we can clearly see the CPU. It appears to have uh, one, two, three, four other USB ports, a VGA cable, a serial port, I believe, and it still has that, um, it still has that um, old connectors for the keyboard and the for the keyboard and the mouse, which are the PS2 ports. And it also has uh, two display ports, two display ports, and also has an ethernet port. And uh, I can't seem to find a HDMI uh, port. So now let's go ahead and boot this computer up and see what it can do. Now you may have noticed that this computer did not come with a keyboard and a mouse so I went ahead and got one of my own. Uh, it's a model 8875 and it's a wireless keyboard plus a wireless mouse and this is what's inside of it. So we have a wireless mouse which uses a AA battery and also a wireless keyboard which comes with a USB connector for both the mouse and the keyboard and the keyboard uses AAA batteries. So there we go. Our PC is now complete. So that so now all that is left to do is just boot it up and see what it can do. Oh and before I forget, let me connect this one over here. So there's the USB connector for both the mouse and the keyboard so that they can be able to communicate uh, wirelessly. How many seconds were those? The computer is already on. Okay, so this computer appears to be running on Windows 11, as you can tell with the interface. And the first two things that we are going to start off by checking out is the RAM and the processor. And we are also going to have a look at the hard disk space. 
and also the graphics card if it has one so it has a ram of 8 gb and the processor is a core i7 which uh, which i can tell this is a fourth generation processor it has a 3.6 gigahertz and uh, i believe it has eight cores and then let's look at the graphics card the graphics card is an intel hd graphics 4600 which i can tell it's not bad and the vram of this graphics card is 2gb so the next thing we are going to look at is the hard disk storage and what i'm going to do is just open file explorer as you can see i can see it has a two partitions uh, one is a local disk c which has a storage of 118 gb and the other partition has 465 gb so basically one partition is 500 gb and the other one is one around 120 i can say gb now the next thing i need to confirm is what kind of uh, storage is this so what i'm going to do is just open task manager and you can do this in various ways of course the simplest one is just coming here to search and type task manager or another shortcut you can use is by clicking on uh, control shift escape at the same time it's going to lead you to the same uh, window so here it is task manager what i'm going to do is come here to performance and as you can see that's the cpu i was telling you about and the ram appears to be a ddr3 by the way now when it comes to storage uh it appears to have a hard disk drive and an ssd which is quite amazing the hard disk drive is the one that has 500 gigs of storage and the other one which is the ssd appears to have 128 gb the graphics card on the other hand is the intel hd graphics 4600 which has a shared gpu memory of 2 gb so that's all there is to know for now concerning this pc and i would like to hear what you think about it in the comments section down below if you have liked this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscription bell down there so that you cannot miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching it's been ironics media and i hope to see you in the next video stay tuned oh, oh, oh.